Well, good morning, everyone. Hi. Welcome to the Weston Art Gallery here in the Arnoff Center for the Arts. Uh, we're so pleased to see such a, a wonderful group of people here for our Families Create program. We'll get to meet one of the artists um, who's showing her work here, Elisa Morley. Um, she's standing here with us, and she's going to be here to get us up close and personal with her work. And then we're going to make art ourselves. How many of you have seen uh, films, movies, read books like Harry Potter and uh, and the Narnia books, where there maybe you can think of some other books where the main character kind of goes walks through a door or falls down a Hole and ends up in another world. This exhibition is kind of like those stories where you have to kind of pass through kind of ordinary things like books and, and uh, telescopes and stuff, and, um, and then you end up in a beautiful, uh, mystical, uh, fabulous world. But we're going to practice. Um, right here, passing, like what we're going to do when we get into the imaginary world. I want you all to sprout some wings because all the, like most of the creatures in my world that, that I created have wings. Hi, I'm Elisa Morley and I have the site specific exhibition in the upper level gallery at the Western Art Gallery in Cincinnati. Um, this exhibition was made possible by the Kentucky Foundation for Women. It is called Vision, Things That Fly. Do you think you guys are ready to make your own <laughs> flying creatures or flying machines? Yes. Basically, I would hope that uh, the children today in the workshop with, with the Families Create, had a really interesting and eye-opening encounter with artwork that is in, an, in the form of an installation. Hopefully it will impress upon them how easy it is to encounter art and to enjoy it, and how, how they can link it with some of the stories uh, that they've read and seen in movies, uh, so that that they realize how accessible art really is. I loved it. it um, we, we were going around and I saw a whole bunch of um, floating lakes and it inspired me so, I'm, so I sort of made part of a floating lake but it turned into a sun, a little universe. I'm probably going to hang it up in my room. I have, um, I really like stars so I have stars hanging. I'm going to put it up with my stars.